Shalom family. I want to read from out of the Apocrypha. Um, there's a book called The Prayer of Azaria and The Song of the Three Hebrews. Um, so this book is it's part of the reading from this, this Apocrypha here. Um, and this book is, it says, Additions to Daniel, the book of Daniel, inserted between chapter 3, verse 23, and chapter 3, verse 24. And, uh, of course, it's dealing with the three Hebrews that were, um, you know, thrown into the furnace. So, I want to read this. It says in verse 1, They walked around in the midst of the flames. They walked around in the midst of the flames, singing hymns to Elohim and blessing Yahuwah. Then Azariah stood still in the fire and prayed aloud from the fire, from the fire. Blessed are you, O Yahuwah Elohim of our ancestors and worthy of praise and glorious is your name forever. For you are just in all you have done. All your works are true and your ways right and all your judgments are true. You have executed true judgments in all you have brought upon us and upon Yerushalayim, the holy city of our ancestors. By a true judgment, you have brought all this upon us because of our sins. For we have sinned and broken your law and turning away from you. In all matters, we have sinned grievously. We have not obeyed your commandments. We have not kept them or done what you have commanded us for our own good. So all that you have brought upon us and all that you have done to us, you have done by a true judgment. You have handed us over to our enemies, lawless and hateful rebels, and to an unjust king, the most wicked in all the world. And now we cannot open our mouths. We, your servants who worship you, have become a shame and a reproach. For your name's sake, do not give us up forever, and do not annul your covenant. Do not withdraw your mercy from us for the sake of Abraham, your beloved, and for the sake of your servant Isaac and Israel, your holy one, to whom you promised to multiply their descendants like the stars of heaven and like the sand on the shore of the sea. For we, O Yahuwah, have become fewer than any other nation and are brought low this day in all the world because of our sins. In our day, we have no ruler or prophet or leader no burnt offering or sacrifice or oblation or incense, no place to make an offering before you and to find mercy. Yet with a contrite heart and a humble spirit, may we be accepted as though it were with burnt offerings of rams and bulls or with tens of thousands of fat lambs. Such may our sacrifice be in your sight today and may we unreservedly follow you for no shame will come to those who trust in you. And now with all our heart, we follow you. We fear you and seek your presence. Do not put us to shame, but deal with us in your patience and in your abundant mercy. Deliver us in accordance with your marvelous works and bring glory to your name, O Yahuwah. Let all who do harm to your servants be put to shame. Let them be disgraced and deprived of all power and let their strength be broken. Let them know that you alone are, the, are Yahuwah Elohim glorious over the whole world now the king's servants who threw them in now the king's servants who threw them in kept smoking the furnace with naphtha naphtha pitch tow and brushwood and the flames poured out above the furnace 49 cubits and spread out and burned those chaldeans who were caught near the furnace but the angel of Yahuwah came down into the furnace to be with Azariah and his companions and drove the fiery flame out of the furnace and made the inside of the furnace as though a moist wind were whistling through it. The fire did not touch them at all and caused them no pain or distress. Hallelujah. So this is, um, and I read from verse 1 to verse 28. And so, of course, you know, most of us know the story that they are, you know, this is during the time of Babylon. And they were thrown into the furnace. And 
what strikes me with this is they're in the land of captivity and they've been unrighteously um, given this judgment and thrown into the, the fiery furnace, right? And so while they're in there, they're praying to the Most High. So we just hear, you know, when we read in the scriptures, we just see that the Most High delivered them out of there. But this just goes into detail how, what their attitude and mindset was. What were they saying to the Most High? What was their prayer to the Most High? Um, you know, a lot of times when we're going through things, we just, we're just like, y'all help me. <laughs> you know, just, we, we're just thinking about ourselves. But while they were in the furnace, while they were receiving this unrighteous judgment from uh, from the from the rulership there in Babylon, despite the fact that 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 um, judgment was unrighteous from man from the from this place, they're pro proclaiming that the only reason that they're in this situation in the first place was because of their unrighteousness to Yahuwah. So even though they were not acting unrighteously um, to deserve what they were receiving at the hands of man, they realized that. The only reason that they were in this position in the first place was because them and their ancestors had, had acted unrighteously towards the laws of the Most High. So what they're so what they're crying out to while they're in in this place of judgment, crying out for the Most High, they're confessing the truth to the Most High. They're confessing that yeah, you are righteous in your judgment towards us, and we deserve, <laughs> you know, because of us, because of our ancestors, we deserve, you know. Uh, to be in this place because we know that judgment comes from you and not from from man, you know. So, so they cried out, confessing the truth, confessing confessing that the Most High's judgments were were correct, confessing that their ancestors and themselves had 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 not done right before the Most High, confessing these things. But their their it was their attitude towards the Most High. It was their disposition towards the Most High, despite their their focus was not on, you know. They 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 acknowledged these the, their enemies were 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 uh, lawless and and hateful, and they were under an unjust rulership. However, they did not put their focus on that. That's not where their focus was. Their focus wasn't on this unrighteous uh, system, this unrighteous king. You know, their focus was on the Most High and His covenant. And the covenant that he made with 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 Abraham, with Isaac, with, with Yaakov, with Jacob, he his focus was on the goodness of the Most High. So that's where their focus was on, and that's how they cried out to the Most High, and that's what they were speaking to the Most High while they were being afflicted in this in this place and in this furnace. And it says that as they were giving these praises to the Most High, that that the Most High heard them, and he and he sent an angel. Of the Most High, he sent the messenger, Malachim, of the Most High, down into the furnace to drive out the flames. Okay, and it said even in this process that that there were other Chaldeans that were that were taken in by these flames, but they were not. They were not touched by these by these flames. So to me, this speaks of the disposition for us to have being those who are in the land of our captivity, being those who are returning to the Most High, who are acknowledging the covenant. Our attitude as we're going through these afflictions, as we're dealing with the things that we're being are being put on us by the land, it's going to increase in this season that we're in. The attitude that we're to have is to have an attitude of repentance and of humility, acknowledging our lineage, acknowledging our ancestors, acknowledging that we have strayed as a people from the Most High. Whether you have individually returned, that's that's fine. <laughs> Whether or not we've individually returned, we as a whole people have turned from the Most High, and so have our ancestors. And that is why we are in this place of captivity, this place where we have been taken captive. That's why we are in this place. So we have to come outside of ourselves and, and acknowledge our lineage, acknowledge our history, our, an our ancestry, our ancestors, acknowledge... Our, our current state as a people, as a community, as a whole, and acknowledge ourselves and our shortcomings. So if we take this, we we take this as a whole, but then we we what we have to stand on is what the covenant of the Most High, the promises of the Most High, and the goodness of the Most High. So we 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 call on His character, His goodness. We call on His promises and the covenant that He's made. 
that we can rely on and trust in. So when going through these afflictions um, and we, we give praise unto him and he's the one who delivers us out of it according to his goodness, according to his will and purpose. If, if we shall perish in it, then it is his will and purpose at that time. If he shall deliver us out of it, it's his will and his purpose at that time. So this um, reading just blessed me. Um, when I read this, um, seeing their disposition and it reminds me of what our disposition should be in this time, not putting an inordinate amount of focus on the enemies, um, knowing that it is by the most high's hand that all things rise or fall. Hallelujah. Um, so then from this point, they go on in verse 28, it says, then the three with one voice praised and glorified and blessed Yahweh in the furnace after, after this, uh, uh, the flames were, were, were cleared out by this uh, Melachim, this angel, this, this uh, messenger of the Most High. It says that they blessed his. It says, Blessed are you, O Yahweh, Elohim of our ancestors, and to be praised and highly exalted forever. And blessed is your glorious Kodesh holy name, and to be highly praised and highly exalted forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, and to be extolled and highly glorified forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne on the cherubim, and to be praised and highly exalted forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, to be extolled and highly exalted forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, and to be sung and glorified forever. Blessed Yahuwah, all the works of Yahuwah. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. So they're giving praises unto the Most High. And they just go on and on. Bless Yahuwah, you heaven. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Bless Yahuwah, you, you angels of the Lord, of, of Yahuwah. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Bless Yahuwah, all, the, all you waters above the heavens. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Bless Yahuwah, all you powers of Yahuwah. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. It goes on and on to every element. <laughs> Bless Yahuwah, the sun and the moon, the stars of heaven, all the rain and dew, the winds, the fire and heat, winter, cold and summer. Highly exalt him forever. The dews and the falling snow, night and day, light and darkness, ice and cold, frost and snow, lightnings and clouds. Let uh, Sing praise to Yahuwah and highly exalt him forever. Let the earth bless Yahuwah, let us sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. And they go on and on, the mountains and the hills, uh, all that grows in the ground, the sea, the river, all the, all the faithful things, all the things that faithfully always uh, uh, exalt Yahuwah and, and give him his, his praise and, and obedience and, and, and beauty and, and function of what Yahuwah has created. He's, they're, they're singing this to all the all of the elements of the most high all the creation of the most high which is which includes us it says the the animals the the birds of the air the whales all the people on earth sing praise to him and exalt him forever it says bless O yahweh O yishrael sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever priest you priest of yahweh servants of yahweh spirits and souls of the righteous you who are holy and humble in heart Sing praise to him and exalt him, highly exalt him forever. Bless Yahuwah, Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, which is them, the three, um, the three. It says, sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. For he has rescued us from Hades and saved us from the power of death and delivered us from the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. From the midst of the fire, he has delivered us. Give thanks to Yahuwah for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. All who worship Yahuwah, bless the Elohim of Elohims. Sing praise to him and give thanks to him for his mercy endures forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Another reading that I encourage, the prayer of Azariah and the song of the three Hebrews out of the Apocrypha. Another one of the uh, books that has writings, Hebrew writings, a lot from the time of um, the Babylonian captivity. Hebrew writings that are um, that were originally in the King James 1611 version of the scriptures that was taken out. Um, that is very significant for us as a people. So check it out. I pray that you were blessed um, by this reading. Hallelujah.